Welcome to another episode of OptimalAnesthesia.com where we explore fascinating anesthesia topics to help you better understand your perioperative care. Today, we're diving into the world of serum renin and its importance in the perioperative period. Serum renin, produced by the kidneys, is a vital enzyme in the RAAS. It converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin II, a crucial step in the regulation of blood pressure and electrolyte balance. But how does the body control the release of renin? Well, it's a finely tuned process. Factors like blood pressure, sodium levels, and even sympathetic nervous system activity play a role. When these factors are low or high, the kidneys release renin into the bloodstream. Once released, renin gets to work, converting angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. But the story doesn't end there. Angiotensin 1 is then converted into angiotensin 2, a powerful vasoconstrictor, by AC in the lungs. This leads to increased blood pressure and stimulates the release of aldosterone, which further regulates sodium and water balance. So, what's a normal level of serum renin? Well, it can vary, but typically falls between 0.5 to 2.3 nanograms per milliliter per hour. Monitoring these levels can provide valuable insights into the health of our RAS and overall cardiovascular system. Let's look at some key uses of serum renin value in the perioperative period. Assessing volume status, renin levels can indicate if a patient is too full or too empty. Low levels suggest too much fluid, while high levels may mean not enough. Predicting hemodynamic instability, high renin levels can signal a higher risk of hemodynamic instability. Monitoring renin can help manage fluids better and reduce risks. Risk stratification, renin levels can help categorize patients by their risk of complications. Those with high renin may need more attention and care. Guiding fluid therapy, renin levels can guide how much fluid a patient needs. Low renin may mean less fluid, while high renin may require more. Optimizing blood pressure, monitoring renin levels can help control blood pressure in hypertensive patients. Adjusting medications based on renin levels can lead to better control. Identifying renin-dependent hypertension, measuring renin levels can differentiate between types of hypertension. This information helps doctors choose the right treatment. Prognostic marker, high renin levels have been linked to worse outcomes. Monitoring renin can help identify high-risk patients and improve their care. In conclusion, serum renin value is a valuable tool in the perioperative period, offering insights into a patient's hemodynamic status and guiding clinical decisions. By monitoring renin levels, healthcare providers can optimize patient care and improve outcomes during surgery. That's all for today's episode. Join us next time for more insights into the world of anesthesia. Thanks for listening Optimal Anesthesia.